Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Systems Switzerland. We keep talking about new features, about interoperability and what's coming and what's going on and so on. And um, we sometimes tend to forget what's already out there and what we could use or how we could use a certain device or certain software from our end. So therefore today I quickly want to introduce you to a use case which is, I don't know, hopefully used very often out there or maybe also not known that much. I have my WebEx Desk Pro here, uh, great speakers underneath, camera, microphones, 4K screen, 27 inch. How do I use this device now? So I have a Windows laptop connected to this device. So it is a USB-C cable which provides power to my laptop. It will it allows me to share the content on the screen as we've seen here now. Um, and it will also, we'll see that later on, allow me to use the webcam built in here on the device, the speakers and the microphones of this device. So I use it at this point in time as a shared screen. I can also basically just like connect, uh, I can connect a keyboard to the Desk Pro and it will then forward this keyboard functionality to my Windows laptop. So it's like a docking station, if you want. Um, and a screen and a webcam and many things uh, as well. I can use this webcam um, on any application on the device itself. For example, uh, use Signal, um, my messaging application, uh, call my colleague, I'll see a preview here, and I say call, and then it uses the camera of the device itself and I'll have the full video experience with the signal application on the Desk Pro device. Thanks for your Let's say we also would like to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. Then we can just go to Microsoft Teams. Uh, we see, okay, there's a meeting actually uh, coming up or running at the moment. So it's automatically taking the webcam of the device, the microphones, oops, let's say here, computer audio, it uses the Desk Pro webcam audio, so microphones and speakers. And we can just go ahead and say, join now. And we'll join the meeting immediately. We can interact with Peppa Pig right away. And we can also share a whiteboard, for example. Let's see if we can share a whiteboard indeed. Okay, there we go. Microsoft whiteboard. We can start sharing. So the other side sees that whiteboard happening as well. And then we can uh, take, take a moment. Then we can go ahead and start drawing on that whiteboard the way we would like it. So I start drawing one of my favorite things. Um, I have I have on the other side also a Microsoft Teams application on a Mac, which I'm showing here. Uh, so you can see the receiving end of such a presentation. You have the possibility of like the full functionality of the Microsoft Teams client. It's just presented and controllable on the WebEx desk pro device. I can also like say I want to add this little guy some hair here. I can do this just to see the flexibility of these these devices. I can also draw the whiteboard on the WebEx desk pro directly so I can like start to do a little green man let's say um, here I can do like this um, he has hair only here, not on the top. And then I go back to the Microsoft Teams application and it's there as well. So I can draw on the Microsoft Teams application directly. And I also see it on the laptop on the receiving end as well. No matter where I draw, being it in the Microsoft Teams application with the color I choose, uh, 
this one here. So then I take a little tree and I go back to the Microsoft Teams whiteboard on the WebEx Desk Pro and I can also like continue drawing here some grass here as well and you can see it on all devices at the same time. So that's the whiteboarding part. I open a PowerPoint Live on the other end. It will take a moment to load the presentation into PowerPoint Live and then I can see, okay, let's go with this one here. Actually, uh, yeah, so we have PowerPoint Live here and I can decide I take control. I get a different layout so I can actually go through the slide as I like. I can use PowerPoint features as I decide they are best to be used and it's all from this easy to use simple setup. I joined this meeting with the Microsoft Teams client now but if I decide to do differently let's say I would like to um, work mainly on my laptop because I don't want to uh, use up my resources of the laptop for a video meeting I can then go ahead and swipe up uh, hit the join button and I'm in the same meeting okay sorry um, after I've been admitted I'm in the same meeting uh, where I've been where I've been before but now with the video device the difference is here now I can like say okay I want to like hide my self view and I get more space and I can also just say okay I want to uh, keep the uh, my work screen as uh, on on top or like change the size of my work screen and uh, yeah go to a, to a different size at all and I can even like put this somewhere else I can keep working <coughs> on the slide deck here while I can follow what Peppa Pig is telling me on the window in the location of the window I prefer so it's I can choose which resources I prefer to use um, being it like more feature focused and I use the native Microsoft Teams application or being it more resource focused quality focused then I use the resources of this video endpoint directly so that was it I hope it helped uh, and it, it gives some ideas of uh, what these devices can all do besides like pure video devices act, acting as, a, as an extension of your workplace acting as a replacement for a docking station um, being it also connecting additional microphones being it connecting uh, headphones via bluetooth this is all possible with these devices and you've seen the flexibility now so Thank you very much for watching and uh, yes, please subscribe and looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.